So let's suppose that we have the following conducting wire which is assumed to be a cylinder. Now the radius of this wire is given by uppercase R and the wire carries an electric current given by I which is coming out of the board as shown by the following arrow. So in this lecture we essentially want to apply Ampere's law and we want to use Ampere's law to determine the equation for the magnetic field outside and inside this conducting wire which carries an electric current I. So let's begin with part A. In part A we want to calculate the magnetic field outside our conducting wire. So to use Ampere's law we have to choose a symmetrical pathway outside of our conducting wire. So we choose a circular pathway with a radius given by lowercase r outside of the wire where this lowercase r is greater than this uppercase r. So this dashed line is our chosen closed circular pathway. So now we are ready to apply Ampere's law. Ampere's law states that the closed integral around this pathway of the dot product of our magnetic field B and our infinitely small segment DL is equal to the product of our permeability of free space given by mu naught and the enclosed electric current that passes through this surface given by the circular closed pathway. Now this I enclosed can be simply replaced with I because our electric current is assumed to be I. Now this entire quantity is simply replaced with this. We're essentially integrating from some point zero to a point all the way around our closed pathway and this entire distance is equal to the circumference of this outer circle from zero to two pi r where r is the radius of this circular closed pathway. Now the dot product of these two vectors is simply equal to the product of the magnitude of our b and d L because the angle between these two vectors is zero and cosine of the angle will give us one. Cosine of zero gives us one. So let's actually evaluate this integral. We get the following result. So B multiplied by L from 0 to 2 pi R is equal to B multiplied by 2 pi R. That is equal to mu naught multiplied by I. So if we take this equation and solve for B, we see that the magnetic field outside of our conducting straight wire is equal to the ratio mu uh, naught divided by 2 pi multiplied by I divided by R. So this gives us our magnetic field outside of our conducting wire. So in the previous lecture we gave this equation. Now let's calculate the magnetic field at points inside our conducting wire. So once again let's examine the cross section of our wire as shown by the following region. So once again the radius of our wire is given by uppercase R. So now once again to use Ampere's law we choose a circular closed pathway inside the wire with radius given by lowercase r in which lowercase r is now smaller than uppercase r. So notice now the electric current that travels through this inner region is smaller than the total current that travels through the entire region. So the electric current enclosed in this inner section is smaller than the total current and we can find the enclosed electric current by simply taking the total current I and multiplying it by the ratio of the air area of this inner region to the area of the outer region. So pi lowercase r squared divided by pi uppercase r squared multiplied by the total electric current inside our wire 
is equal to the current that is enclosed in this section of our wire that we chose. So now we are ready to apply Ampere's law. So once again, Ampere's law is equal to, well, we have the closed integral of the dot product of B and DL, which is equal to, once again, we're evaluating from the, from the point zero to the point all the way around our closed pathway. So we take the integral from zero to two pi lowercase r, BDL, where once again our angle is zero, so cosine of the angle zero is given by one. So this is equal to, if we actually solve the integral and evaluate, this becomes our B multiplied by 2 pi r, and because of our ampere law, we know this is equal to mu naught multiplied by the enclosed electric current in this region. So we know from this result that I enclosed is equal to this, so we replace I enclosed with this equation as shown. Now we solve for our B and we see that B is equal to this ratio. We rearrange it and notice the R's will cancel on the bottom and we see that the magnetic field at points inside our conducting wire, which is assumed to be straight and a cylinder, is equal to the ratio mu naught divided by 2 pi multiplied by the electric current in our entire region of wire multiplied by the lowercase r, the radius of this inner region, divided by r squared, where uppercase r is simply the radius of our cylindrical piece of wire.